Hello, what's going on? This is Quaman Fowler of the Jazz Webshed YouTube channel. And uh, we're in the shed again. This time I'm going to be working on uh, creating some charts for some charts. Well, I'm going to be creating <laughs> um, a lead sheet if you would or charting out the enclosures and uh, I'm gonna start with the two node enclosures and um, I know different people uh, ask me about the having the changes and so not the changes having the actual sheet music and so this time <clears throat> I'm gonna write out the sheet music I'm gonna create the sheet music for the enclosures because uh, I got time to do it now. Gigs have been canceled <laughs> and uh, my school work has been canceled. And I'm, you know, working at, at the college. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of YouTube videos and I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, lessons. You know, one-on-one uh, -on -one lessons. You can take Skype lessons with me. Just uh, send me a uh, text if you want to take some lessons. Just text uh, lessons to textquaman.com. Um, or you can join the Academy, Texas General Music Academy. And um, I'm offering a discount for those that become members. So just trying to take um, this time to... Be more release, be more resourceful on on uh, via the, the internet and and be able to help people around the world. Since stuff has kind of slowed down, really for everybody across the country, uh, because of the the COVID nineteen. Do you st study music in college, sir? Uh, no, I'm I'm teaching in college now. So I'm a, a adjunct professor at a college. Um, he said, "I want to sound like you." Uh, well, well, I would I would say you know in terms of getting some of the studies um, from me, you want to check out Texas Tenor Music Academy. Um, or let's see, oh, I can put it right here. So check check out Texas Tenor Music Academy. Uh oh, let's see. And there I'll be. There you can um, have access to my training that I put up more in depth lessons. Um, where I covered a wide range of different things, and um, I do a live master class every Monday, where uh, you can get on there. Oh, sorry, you can actually get on the webinar and um, and interact with me. So if you're on there every week, it's like having a lesson with me every week, as as a part of being a member of the academy. Yes, sir. No problem, George. All right. What where are you at, George? What part of uh, the country are you in, or the world are you in? So, um, yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing here is is writing out the changes. I keep saying changes. I will be putting down um, the enclosures for you. All right, somebody says, hey, man, I have kind of a different question. I was wondering what you might say is a good recording setup. 
a recording says it set up mic sound interface. Okay, hold on. Mic sound interface programs. Um, well, my setup here, I got a Fathead Cascade mic that I record with in the studio. Fathead Cascade mic. Um, and then sound interface I use is a uh, Personas um, Fire Studio. And it's old. Um, so you can definitely get, it came out like around uh, mid 2000s, uh, 2000, I think 2005 or 2000, yeah, around there is when I got it, 2006, 2007 maybe. But um, yeah, Personas Fire Studio, you can get updated ones now. And then the program I use primarily is Logic. For my recording, Logic Pro 10. All right, George said he's from Nigeria. Great. All right, and uh, Paris said approach for beginners. Oh, for beginners, focus on uh, scale work or understanding chief relationships. Hmm. Yeah, scale scales to get your fingers, just get the scales on your fingers and then do the modes of the scales, do stuff like the scales and arpeggios and things like that. That's what will get you going. I really love uh, the way you play, like seriously. Okay, and I think he's from um, Nigeria, okay. Appreciate that. Glad to be inspirational. Understanding card relationships like 251. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once you learn, that's what it's setting you up for. Once you learn the modes of the skills, then you can start working on, um, you know, uh, 251 lines. You know, and I have some of those on the channel. And uh, also, you know, like I mentioned earlier, if you become a member of the Texas Turner Music Academy, you can get way more stuff, uh, in-depth lessons where I'm breaking down a lot of these things. Get on the email list if you're not already, uh, jazzwebshed.com, and uh, the pop-up will go will pop up there, and you'll be able to get on my email list, and you'll get some uh, free lessons through there. And I'm talking about uh, different things that you can do to enhance your improvisation skills. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. So yeah, so oh, let me put this link here. I'll put this link here too. Yeah, if you, if you want some help, this is the best way to get it. I've created uh, jazzwebshed.com and uh, once that pop up on that page pops up there, put your name and email in and then you'll get the emails. Excuse me. Oh, so sorry. You'll get the emails and if uh, you want to join the academy, you can. And then I have a slew of videos in there uh, that you can check out inside of the portal. Um, and then if you want to take one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, you can too. You get a discount. You get a discount once you are a member of Jazz Web Shed. All right, I say Jazz Web Shed, Texas Tenor Music Academy. All right, y'all. Let's start. Let's get it. Okay. All right, here we go. Cool, and I'm getting faster and faster with this. Okay. Let's make sure everything's good. Four and one. Ah, I I need to do pickup. Uh, how am I going to do that? Uh, man, I'm 
didn't think about that before I did that. Okay. We'll make it happen. Fall day, do, do. You know what? I need to go on. So, triple it, triple it, triple it. Uh, let me do this. I need to do it different. Definitely need to triple it. I'll do triple it. Yeah, let's do that. Triple it. So let's change this. Um, okay, so I guess that's right, but I need to start it right here. Let's do it again. The way this is. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Triple it, triple it. That's what I'm going to do. I believe. Let me do this now. All right. Well, I could just do that and then do. Uh, undo undo I thought I had had it together y'all and I got on here and I can't <laughs> Undo. What? Um, let me see. Okay. What about? Okay. No. Shift. Um. There it is. I knew it was one of these hot shortcuts. All right. Okay. All right. So let's do. All right. Cool. Got it. Okay. So it's um, command, command three. All right, and I can scoot this up. All right, so then after that, I can do. And then, command three. Ah, oh, but it keeps on. Tripping though. Why is it tripping? Why is it tripping on me? I'm gonna have to do this. Looks like. Go ahead and add triple it, triple it, trip. One, two, three, four. Y'all have to go ahead and do. Do four. Yeah, don't spell it out like that. All right, fo de da. This is scale. Undo. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. So 
to make it go a little quicker I just copy that and paste it Okay, wait a minute. Let me paste. All right. That's it, y'all. All right, now, check it out. Uh -huh. All right, so I need to go down. So let's go ahead and take both of these. Copy. Copy and paste. That's too high. Okay. I think that's it. Let's listen. Okay. It's like that because I didn't double it. I didn't double the root. So that's just a quarter note. All right. So that's um, what you call enclosures uh, two note enclosures from the bottom all right let me see if I can put a little comment uh, text expression technique lyrics <laughs> other staff text box text okay um, so I said let's see two note um, I can say bottom. Uh, 
Let me see bottom up, top, bottom, below, below. How can I say that? Two note enclosure from below. Two note. I'm trying to think of what I can say. Approach below. What you think? <laughs> Let's see. How can I say? An enclosure is when you, um, they say approach note or where you surround a, a note that you want to, to play. Um, so below and above. So if the note I want to enclose is C, and I would play, if I'm going to play a two-note enclosure, I'm going to play a, a B and a D and then land on C. Da, D, da. That's an enclosure. So I, I enclosed C. So I went below and above and then came down to land on um, a land on the note that I wanted to enclose. Two-note enclosure, two-note approach from below. I might come up with a better way to say bottom up. Maybe I'll say, hmm, these are half step below. Let me see. I think all these, yeah, so it's a half step below. A half step below D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So half step below approach. Two note approach. Um. Two note enclosure, approach from half step below. Approach. Let's say below root. All right. Two note approach from half step below root. Let's work with that for now. All right. Uh, okay. And so uh, I need to copy. For now, I'm going to start here. I'll start right here on the new line because I got to figure out how to delete again the um, extra measures. So let's do this. I'll actually copy all of this and then I'll go down here and paste. All right. So now, now this is going to be, this one is going to be different. I'm a, uh, wait a minute. Oh, it did it already. Okay. Two note approach. Approach from this is a whole step above. Two note approach from whole step above. Above root. Root. Above the root. All right. So now, de, da, da. all right. All right, let's see if I can get it.
All right, so that's not gonna work on everything. That's, that's not going to be true on everything. I need to, because the root, that's, that's uh, a whole step above the root. That's not. So on, actually on, So on three and seven, you're going to do um, so on three and seven, you're going to do a um, half step above. So a two note approach from whole step above root besides three and seven. What am I doing? I'm trying to type without looking. All right, besides three and seven. All right, and this is diatonic. This is for a, a C. The third note is our enclosed note. C. the seven where you got the half step below. Uh-huh. That's the root. That's the seven. Six. That's it. All right. Um, those are the two note enclosures. All right. So I guess this whole thing is uh, two note enclosure study one. And uh, I guess I could, I guess I, um, I could do, put everything on here. I could do the three note enclosures. I forgot how to add everything to uh, one line cut down on the space so um so that's what i got here um i guess i could go ahead and do a three note three note enclosures all right so let's see for three note enclosure Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. 
I'll do that. And two, one. Okay, so I got to put one, two, three, bind two, and so and four, and so here's where I got to do and three and and four and and so I'm gonna have to start here. Um, this is where I need to change. I need to plug up to this other keyboard because this one. I have to keep changing the octaves because it's just like a, a 24 octave keyboard. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one. I might have to go back up here and change devices. Let's see. Yeah, it's not picking it up. Let me go up here. The devices. Yeah, I got to find it. Yeah. All right, we're good now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to start here and go. So let's see. One, two, three. So I'm going to have to consolidate. One, two, three. So I'm going to have to consolidate. did that it doubled up on my notes for some reason I don't know what's up with that totally messed up my stuff let's try this again Okay. Okay. Let me, let me try this again. This needs to be eighth notes. Let's try this again. I'm going to paste this. That way I don't have to keep on adding or changing up the rhythm. So let's see um, when I input, pull that up. Okay. Let's go back.
I think I got it. All right. Cool. I'm gonna make this quarter note. All right. All right, and uh, all right, so I'll start here. and go backwards. All right, so let's do it. All right. Okay, so now let's say let's explain all right all right so let's go down here and um, I can put what I'm doing if I can title text rather and then uh, box text other stuff text box text okay All right, so this is three notes approach from below. A approach from half step below root. All right. All right. Uh -oh. All right. So now I got to change this. One, two, three. All right. So I'm going to say, uh, Cool. All right. So same thing, but just backwards. Okay. Miss that one.
Okay, that's what threw me off. You got to play the actual, the same note. So let's, let's double check this. goes out um, to right there I can duh, I can make that I can make yeah I can make that uh, diatonic yeah I could do that here yeah I could do this I could do that yeah I could do that or I could keep the sharp note in there What you like better, the, the note that's outside of the key, or you want to keep it inside of the key? I mean, because those are outside of the key, but those, those are like half steps below. All that works. Right there. I can say F sharp. I could change it. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna keep the sharp note. So I think that's it. So I'm going to say, yeah, so two and three note, two, and three note enclosures. Two and three note enclosures above and below study okay uh, above and below root that's too much Two and three note enclosures above and below root study number one. I guess. So I got to clean this up. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so let me copy this. Go down here. And then I'll add text. Um, other text. Okay. So this going to three note approach from whole step. Whole step above root. And I'll go up here and change this. All right. All right. Cool. Smash the like button if you like it, if you enjoyed it. And thank you for those that uh, use the super chat to send some love this way if you appreciate the uh, lessons and uh, the live streams that I do here on the Jazz Web Shed YouTube channel. Um, also, um, once again, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, thank you for the chats and also the comments and 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 uh, for watching and uh, I'll be doing more of these uh, this particular sheet music uh, for these uh, enclosures I still got more to work on but uh, if you text me at textquaman.com I'll uh, fix it and send it to you uh, just say uh, enclosures and uh, I'll try to finish this up and uh, get it to you for watching the stream. All right. We will uh, see you on the next one. I just need to clean this one up some. Also, make sure um, you check out the In the Shed tees that I have available. And uh, just if you text T-shirt, I'll send you the link. Just text Quaman.com. I'll shoot that to you. And then whatever you want, just text text me. Text Quaman.com. And uh, you can text enclosures or, or text t-shirt. Whatever you need. Text lessons. <laughs> All of that good stuff. And or text academy if you want a link to join Texas Journal Music Academy. Um, and uh, that's it for now and I'll fix this up and prepare it so that I can get it to you alright sounds good I am done with this one let's uh, switch back alrighty there we go okay y'all peace